Hey guys, we're Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. Uh, coming up on uh, July 4th weekend soon. I think today's, I don't know, Saturday the 20 something. Uh, July 4th is in about 10 days, I think. So just to give you guys a little time date. And I got something out here pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty special. Um, I honestly uh, don't have any complaints and uh, it doesn't get any cleaner than this. So let me get right to it and get right to the point. A 2002 Triumph 170 center console in excellent condition. This is Ropaline technology. Cut this boat just came straight from Virginia. Uh, you know, fresh, uh, fresh water and salt water, but that's not really going to matter when it comes to the engine, which I'll get to. Overall, um, the boat is in great shape as well as the cushions, uh, cabling, wiring, everything that's involved here. This is a clean boat uh, for a 15 year old boat. In fact, the boat overall has about, uh, not has about, uh, original Yamaha tacks, which are in great condition, running at 546 hours. Now, before I get to that, trailer's in great shape, spare tire, tires are good, hubs are good, everything's good, everything was worked through lights uh, to bring the boat down here from Virginia. Bimini's in great shape. We have both uh, anchor and nav poles uh, in working condition. Even some rod holders installed in the boat as well as the cushions are in great shape. No complaints, no real major defects, uh, nothing to complain about here. We haven't even cleaned the boat. This is a 2012 Yamaha four-stroke motor I think it's an F90 LA, purchased new May 5th of this year. This is a new motor, even though it's dated 2012, it was sold new in 2017 on the 5th of May and has remaining warranty until May of 2020. The engine hails with about five hours at most. I don't even think it's had break-in service yet. So the engine was literally just put on the boat, run sporadically twice, and now it's here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Brand new Yamaha 60, registered May 5th of 2017. I do want to note this is not power steering, this is cable steering, which is common on these boats. And just so you can guys see all the cabling and everything that was done. This motor was just installed less than 60 days ago, May, June, Yes, Jesus Christ, 45 days ago. And all of a sudden, on spur of the moment, the seller decided to upgrade to another Triumph, uh, but a 20-foot um, version, actually a 195cc. So we got a brand new motor and an extremely clean hull and uh, a real nice boat here with warranty, nice trailer, nice cushions, live well, plenty of storage, uh, great stability on the water with the Ropaline, Nice design on the hull, bow rail, clean bimini. Uh, your Hummingbird 100SX is dated and doesn't work, but your GPS map 192C, as you can see, is. Um, obviously, we can pull an engine report for the three or four hours that are on the motor if you like, but you can see the Yamaha tax. The boat has about 546 hours. We will call the motor at about uh, three hours, so you can keep track that way. Um, or see if they can reset this. I'm not quite sure. That should be able to be reset. So uh, we're going from there. Anyway, your tax, your GPS map, your bimini, flooring is clean, solid. This is a great family fun sandbar and fishing vessel. Um, if you guys can see Ford, Cush is in great shape. In fact, you only have one, two lost snaps, which are easy to fix. Ford casting deck with plenty of storage. In fact, your uh, Ford, your nav light will attach right there. On your center console, once again, great seating forward. Uh, a lot of room on the 17 foot boat, I gotta tell you that. This is real nice design for fishing uh, and yet getting, uh, I think it's a six person rating and uh, I think it'll handle every bit of it. Real nice forward cushion, all the snaps are good and your live well, which you can also use this as a cutting board, is right here. Moving to the rear of the vessel, your helm, 
with cooler. Ooh, and apparently a cover that goes with the boat. Oh, didn't see that coming. All right, well, cover included. Um, I would assume it's in great shape as compared to the rest of the boat, but that is a boat cover. Ooh, big surprise. Nobody told me that. Literally, the boat just got here yesterday, so uh, I have not had this vessel on the water, but I'm not really expecting any dip. I flipped the switches. I heard the live well. I heard the bilge, and um, I fired up the uh, anchor light and also the nav light forward, so we're good there. And as we move to the back of the vessel, storage here, and over here is your battery compartment. So, pretty simple, very clean, very nice, and a new motor. So, uh, this one uh, will go quickly, extremely quickly, and uh, that is really all there is to tell. She's a beauty. Now, let's see if I can get off without falling. Ooh, getting a little old. So, overall, beautiful 2002 Triumph. Uh, I, honestly, if you told me it was a 2012 Triumph, I wouldn't know this difference. I really wouldn't. And versus that standard white, I mean that bright white that they were running, I really like this off bit, off color in this. And actually, believe it or not, I like the decaling on the vessel as well. So here we go, 2002 Triumph 170 uh, center console. Uh, it's brand new 60 Yamaha on it, warranty till 2020. Really nice, clean, galvanized trailer, which you guys may be stuck on aluminum, but if you guys know a lot of these ramps around here, you're going in aluminum on a 17-foot trailer, and you got to get in, and, you know, it'll float. So this galvanized will stay seated for you. Tires are new. Spare is new. Hubs are literally look brand new. Um, lights work. Everything's good to go here. Uh, once again, what's good to go today may not be good to go tomorrow. As always, remember, I'm not a mechanic, and I am not a surveyor. But I think we have a beauty here, and uh, I don't expect this one to stay around for more than a week. So anyway, Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com with a sweet, very well-maintained, super clean 2002 Triumph 170 center console with a brand new motor put on it uh, with warranty till 2020, and all the accruciture mods, and apparently including a boat cover to go with it. So let's get this done. Rob and I'm always at hotwater.com, signing off.